Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2014 comedy musical animated feature sequel film, Rio 2. So this has uh, Jesse, what's his face, Eisenberg, uh, back as the character of Blue. You have Anne Hathaway back as the character of Jewel. And so now they have their kids, right? They've been living in this sanctuary research thing where uh, Julio and, Tulio and uh, Linda have been working, right? And so the question then is, are there any more Blue McCalls still left? Well, rumor has it that there is Blue McCalls still left in the rainforest. So Tulio and Linda are on a quest to go find them, keeping the birds at home. But then, of course, the birds want to go on an adventure. Blue is, of course, apprehensive. So then when they get to the part of the rainforest that happens to have all these Blue McCalls, it happens to be the family of Jewel that she was separated from back when the logging company first started to tear the rainforest down. So this... The first film was very much, don't have exotic pets, keep the animals where they are in nature. And this one is very much, why are you cutting the trees down, which are a part of nature? Um, you're destroying the rainforest. You know, animals live there, so why are you doing that? Very cons uh, conservation type of film. Um, I love these underlining meanings to these types of films because it's just very entertaining from a kid perspective that you're like, oh, why would somebody do that? And then you get older and it's you realize, oh, well, people are doing that because money's involved and things of that nature, right? So it's a different mindset when you're a kid watching this versus when you're an adult watching this. I did not watch this when this came out. This came out in 2014. I just never had an interest in seeing it at that present moment. Tw 10 years ago when it came out, technically, if it's 24 and we're watching it now. So, here we are watching it now. We did back-to-back, -back, one right after each other. I like the first one more. I find it more uh, culturally immersive, especially the whole carnival bit at the end. Um, this is very much conservation on the rainforest stuff and, you know, keeping the blue macaws at bay and not touched and anything like that. The evil, uh, the evil cockatoo is back, you know, trying to seek revenge. But it just then becomes a matter of can Blue fit in with the wild birds, the natural birds, or is he too domesticated that he can't fit in? And then there's a whole parrot, uh, McCall versus Blue McCall bit, Red McCall versus Blue McCall. There was like a soccer game kind of thing over, over a Brazil nut, which was entertaining. And then it's a matter of Linda and Tulio trying to stop the logging company, but then obviously with the help of all the birds who then attack everybody and then all is well because the humans leave and the birds get their natural habitat. It's a great conservation type of film. It just doesn't have that brazil immersion that we had you know with with the first film and i get it it's completely different that was more rio based and obviously hence the title um but then this one is more the sequel is more rainforesty based so it was okay not my favorite i did like that uh kristen chenoweth was this um this pink lizard uh gecko was she a gecko um, who was told that she was poisonous all this time, and she's been uh, and she's infatuated with Nigel, the uh, the evil cockatoo. So that was that was fun. Her singing was very entertaining. Fun songs throughout. It's a fun film. It's a good con con conservational film. I can't get the word out for some reason. I want to say conversation, but it's conservation. English man, the English language is just a hybrid drunk bit of five different languages in one. It's wild, wild. Rio two. Onto the next review. Which one